Jonathan Young. No, not that, that. Um, this government does take very seriously the issue of uh, immigrant exploitation in the, uh, in the workforce. And, uh, sir, we have uh, received or seen um, different media releases of those sorts of um, occurrences. There's a num number of reasons, of course, not just the human rights reason, but the reasons why this is such an important component of this bill is because we have companies in New Zealand who uh, work hard at what they do to employ people and pay good wages and put into place in the workforce uh, very strong health and safety measures. And as soon as an employer starts to exploit a worker, an immigrant worker, they undercut and undermine uh, all of those companies who through uh, their goodwill and compliance with New Zealand law seek to put in place employment conditions that keep a workforce safe and pay a good wage to help New Zealand families. And so it's not just about the human rights, which is incredibly important, of people, but it's also about maintaining a workplace environment in this country that we can be proud of. And so, sir, it's very, very important, uh, this particular measure in this bill that deals with the uh, exploitation of migrant workers, because it shores up uh, that sort of behaviour and brings uh, it to um, accountability. Uh, Sue Moroni, in her speech, uh, made a comment uh, to say that we don't have enough uh, people in the Labor Inspectorate to actually enforce these measures and to ensure this doesn't happen. Uh, so looking back at the number of people in the Labor Inspectorate, what we see is that since 2008 until today, there's been a 37 per cent increase in the number of inspectors in the Labor Inspectorate. So, Certainly, I would say it's important to have those people, and surely your statement now becomes an indictment on the previous government, because we've increased that number by 37 per cent. And we do need them to be empowered in those places in order to uh, address these issues, and aspects of this bill address that. Uh, sir, one of the, as I just mentioned before, one of the uh, reports uh, that has come to light has been a case in Auckland. Let me just briefly touch on this for the sake of those listening here and uh, outside of this parliament. There was a case in Auckland uh, where a number of uh, immigrant employers were taken advantage of and the Employment Relations Authority uh, became aware of this and addressed this issue and uh, brought fines uh, against the employer. Uh, the ex exploitation claims were this, that they had to pay a premium or capital infusion of up to $15,000 to secure employment. I mean, what, what, a, what a travesty of the New Zealand way of life that that sort of extortion would take place. <coughs> they were not paid any wages at all, and they're pressured to loan further sums to the company. An office in central Auckland in a commercial building was turned into accommodation for those uh, who ran out of money for rent, but it had no access to a shower or to a kitchen. And the people survived mainly on fruit and instant noodles. Now, this is the sort of behaviour that this bill de determines to stamp out. It will stamp out this, and we will be putting tools and measures in place. So, sir, the bill makes employers who are resident class visa holders liable for deportation. So here they, they've come to this New Zealand for the better way of life that they've sought, and instead they've brought with them misery. And they do not deserve to live in this country to experience what they hope they might achieve. They are liable for deportation if they're convicted of exploiting migrant workers. So, sir, this government does take seriously this sort of behaviour. Not only is it dreadful treatment and a denial of human rights, a denial of the right of a fair 
day's wage for a fair day's work, which we know the workforce in this country desires and, and, and relies upon in order for us Does to have to a... Yeah, sorry, Mr Chair. Mr Young. Thank you, sir. This bill includes two amendments that will protect migrant workers from exploitation. The amendment in part one will see employers who hold resident class visas liable for deportation if they are convicted of that uh, degree of exploitation of migrant workers. Just desserts, we say. Or they knowingly uh, employ migrant workers without the right to work. And I guess, sir, this is also protecting the New Zealand workforce, that they need to be people who have the right to work. We know, sir, that this is an uh, area of real tension. Uh, I remember a case when, uh, back in New Plymouth where some migrant workers came in, uh, employed by a reputable company. Uh, the local workforce were pretty upset that these uh, men came in to work in New Plymouth. They were aluminium welders. And uh, people felt, well, I can do that job. These men came from uh, the Philippines with their families. They previously had been welders of aluminium airframes. So they were highly specialised. And the work that this company was doing were welding like bumper bars and accessories to uh, utes and vehicles and exporting these across to Australia and different places in the South Pacific uh, and, and in Asia. And, uh, and so when it came to the test whether there were New Zealanders able to do this work, they were able to do it in this case for about one or two hours but not for the whole work day. And so the experience of these welders was something that was a skill not currently resident in the workforce. After the, the tension around that issue and the debate around it, from what I understand, uh, the union uh, appreciated the fact that the experience of these welders, particularly in aluminium, enabled the workforce at large to be involved in a project that brought export dollars into it into that com uh, company and into the country. So, so, sir, immigrant employment is important to New Zealand, but we must ensure that it is not exploited, that we have labour laws and we have immigration law that protects workers and they, it protects their human rights and it protects them in the workforce. So, sir, this bill has many provisions uh, that address that and, uh, sir, I'm very pleased to, to uh, commend this bill to the House. Thank you.